So for those of you who are new, first thing I want to go is why am I sitting in here listening to the principal? I would rather be in my child's classroom. Yes, if I would probably be in your same shoes and I'd want to do the same thing. But I feel like first, you need to know where I'm coming from. And second, you need to know the journey that Clifty Creek is going on. And you need to be a part of that journey. We want you a part of that journey with us. So if you being here today, you coming and you sitting there and being willing to meet your child's teacher, it's got to be more, it's got to be more than just showing up on the first day. If your child's life is going to radically change, you have to become a change agent for your child. We have to be a change agent for your child. We're not here, like I said early, earlier, to be average. We want to transform lives, and we want your child to be exceptional. But I need you, not only the child, but I need you, the parent, to be a part of that change. Together, we have an opportunity to change the narrative of who we are and what we are. But we have to be in this together. We have to be forward thinking. There's a lot of stuff out there. You talk about your standardized testaments or your school letter grades, all that. It is what it is with that. Because it doesn't define us. But I'm going to tell you what does define us. What defines us is what we do. And what we do here for your child defines us. What you do for your child at home helps define us. We are looking for a life-changing impact on our community, our Clifty Creek community. We want this school to be the beacon of hope that's going to transform lives, not only this year, but decades to come. That changes generational hope and generational outcomes. We want to create a level of pride within who we are. You should feel good about where your child goes to school. I feel great about where my child goes to school because my kid goes to Clifty Creek and I wouldn't want it any other way. But I also tell them each day, life is hard. Nothing's easy. And we want to get to somewhere that's beyond belief. And to get to somewhere beyond belief, that means we're going to have to work hard to figure that out. So the goal is it, ladies and gentlemen. The goal in all this is we have to be the answer. The people in this room have to be the answer. We have to be the change. It can't be us doing it here, you doing it there. We have to come together for the benefit of our kids as we see them grow from generation to generation. This is part of my vision. And I hope you can embrace that vision that we want your child to become exceptional. I didn't come here on accident. I, didn't, I wasn't forced to come here. I came down from Fort Wayne. I came here because I wanted to be here. I came here for the impact to be a champion, not only for your child, but to be a champion for your family. And so that you can have an incredible amount of pride, not only in what is done at Clifty Creek, but the output that you have in Clifty Creek. We don't have any excuses here, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to make one excuse for you because we have an expert desire for your child to become exceptional. But remember, we're going to help you get there, but ultimately, I'm in charge of my future. You're in charge of your future. And we are in charge of your child's future. If you're in first grade by the end of the year, you're to know 100 sight words. Or excuse me, kindergarten, 100 sight words. First grade, it's 200. Second grade, it's the first 300, and that's the average. But I'm not looking to be average, and you sure don't want your kid to be average. No parent wants their child to be average. So let's get it. Let's figure out what we have to do to be successful. Let's support one another and get your child to there. I'm going to encourage you, read to your child every evening. Give your child that voice of hearing you read every evening. And then I asked a lot of teachers, what's one thing you would want your parents to do, if I could tell them, what's one thing? And unanimously it said, ask them how their day went. None of them said to read to your child, that's what I said, right? They said, ask them how their day went. Invest in their life. Want to know, was it a good day? Want to know, was it a hard day? But invest in your life of what your child is doing here.
Your child has one elementary experience, one. There's no do-over. And I don't want to look in your eyes when your child's in third grade, when your child's in sixth grade, and say, what happened? What happened? Why is, why is your sixth grader reading at a third grade reading level? I don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. I want to look in your eyes and see excitement. I want to look in your eyes and see pride that your child is way above everyone else and that your child can and will become whatever he or she chooses to do. And then finally, the last slide. This is our promise to you. This is our promise to you. We will not give up on your child. We will fight for your child. We will believe in your child. And here's the kicker. We expect your child to become excellent. And if we don't expect that, shame on us. We expect your child to be excellent. We expect this school to be excellent. We expect our parents to be excellent. And you should expect me to be excellent. And you should expect your teachers to be excellent because your child deserves it. If you can't tell, I'm excited about the school year. I am pumped up for this school year. I think it's going to be the best year we've had. And I want to encourage you to embrace the vision and the future of your child. I welcome you. I'm excited you're here. I'm going to release you now to go see your teachers. But let's make this a great school year. Thank you.